Yes, um, there was quite a lot uh, that was said uh, here, but uh, one could say that um, even the title of the report, uh, it, it, it says state capture. So it's, uh, it sounds like it's a sequel to the uh, state of capture report that was uh, presented by the former public protector, Chulima Donzela, last year. Of course, there are uh, much more, there's more meat in this report. Uh, there's a lot that goes beyond what came out in the state of capture report of the public protector. Uh, but uh, the, the, the theme is really the same. Uh, it, it, it's... it's um, it's a, it's, it's a lot of, um, it paints a picture, uh, as they've said, that uh, the, as they put it, they said there's an elite uh, which is linked uh, to President Zuma, which is uh, 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 basically doing all kinds of things uh, in SOEs and uh, in cabinet, the reshuffles and so on, uh, and, and uh, doing, uh, well, what, what maybe amounts to looting and so on and so on. But... Uh, no, any, no evidence uh, of any of this thing was presented here. Uh, in fact, uh, it was interesting in the Q&A because a lot of the uh, journalists asked pointed questions uh, about uh, what they've presented here and uh, they, 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 did, they could not give answers uh, to most of the questions that they asked. For instance, um, the legality, the illegality that they allege uh, is going on uh, if they've got evidence of it, why aren't they taking it to the police or opening cases or encouraging people who have made uh, those allegations to them to go to the police? They said, no, uh, they, they, they are the church. Uh, they can't be in court every day. Uh, they spoke about uh, illicit flows that uh, maybe the money that they're alleging that the Guptas uh, are siphoning off from SOEs uh, has ended up uh, in offshore accounts in, in overseas countries and so on. Uh, when it was asked uh, how much we're talking about uh, also, they couldn't answer that. Why aren't they taking that uh, evidence to the police? Uh, also, no answer there. So, yeah, it was uh, quite an interesting uh, uh, presentation uh, by the church here under the banner of the South African Council of Churches. Yeah, well, that kind of uh, leads me, uh, what you were saying, to my next point, that, you know, now that this report has been released, what, what happens? What, what are they going to do with this information, which I suppose you've, you've answered for us, but they, they couldn't then uh, detail what they're going to do with all of this information? Uh, yes, because, uh, for instance, uh, some of the people that they mentioned as having contributed information to this, uh, they mentioned Mkabiz Jonas, former, former Vice President Pravin Gordon, uh, Chamber Masego, the former DG of government, and so on and so on. These are uh, Anwar Dramat, uh, the, the former head of the Hawks. Uh, these are senior, 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 senior government officials. Uh, well, former until rec in the, until recently, and and the, the period they're talking about uh, starts back from the time that President Zuma took office in 2009. Uh, these people were in government uh, all these years when 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 all this was is alleged to have happened. Uh, we we're not aware of them uh, raising these matters uh, with the relevant uh, uh, authorities or government uh, uh, institutions or the police and so on. Um, so. And also what they said was, uh, what they zoomed in, uh, the pastors, was that uh, all this uh, that, that they've presented leads them to uh, the moral side of things. It's, it's, it, that seems to be their angle. That, uh, in fact, they, they, they made it explicitly that uh, in their view, based on this information, the government has lost moral authority. Moral authority. And they say they've... Uh, formally approached uh, the, the, the government, uh, not the government, uh, the ruling party, the ANC, with this information and uh, requested them to act upon it, to do something to put the house, the house of the government in order. Of course, uh, Bishop Bumlana also went further to say that uh, they feel that uh, there could be constitutional implications of all of this uh, in terms of uh, the responsibility that uh, the constitution puts on the government to act in certain ways in the interest of the public and so on and so on and so on. But again, it's, it, they were not saying that uh, 
for instance, they are going to take this and approach the constitutional court uh, to find that the government has failed uh, to oppose the constitution. They, he also mentioned that even parliament, uh, it, 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 the, 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 this information points to even parliament failing in its constitutional mandate. So it's, um, it's a question of uh, uh, really uh, what now uh, 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 from the side of them as the counties of churches. Right. Uh, earlier on, he did speak about uh, 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 encouraging people to hold prayer meetings, regular prayer meetings, uh, uh, which will culminate in a massive uh, reconciliation uh, prayer and reconciliation service on the 16th of December and so on. So. It, basically, that it seems like uh, that's where we are uh, with regards to, to, to them as the Council of Churches and uh, what they've presented and what their intention is and what uh, they intend to do about it. All right, and Mugeni, thanks so much. We'll leave it there. Mugeni Mutua, live from Soweto.